Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S episode number 4. Alright, uh, the previous episode. We had a fun little episode. Um, they, it was divided into three parts and three, like, you know, each part kind of tackled each thing in the first part, the whole uh, situation with Ilulu, how she's kind of feeling a bit lonely and because, and also a little bit guilty because of the things that she did and she's not kind of being able to accept herself being uh you know like she's kind of feeling bad because the humans that she was trying to kill were actually trying to accept her all that stuff but by the end of it like you know luca came and kind of gave her little advice and she's all good now i think so and then the whole thing with the maid happened like you know what uh, kobayashi what like you know like they wanted kobayashi to where a maid dress all that stuff uh georgie gave gave her a little bit of an what do you call it like, you know uh, made you know speech about maids like you know how maids are and what should be done and all that stuff and you know like kobashi and atoru had a little bit of a moment there as well and but in the end uh, like you know we saw toru trying to get some hobby but by the end of it she actually realizes that the thing that she actually makes her like you know hard move is kobayashi so whatever he she does about thinking about kobayashi is kind of something that can be considered as her hobby or something or also like you know like it, it's something that she does from the bottom of her heart so it's kind of a nice little episode so let's see what this episode about is about this is episode number four of kobayashi's uh, miss kobayashi's dragon maid s so without further ado let's get started all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh, Elma? Oh, no. Did Elma do it? Oh, uh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah she did it okay so <laughs> she's one of those uh, I don't know like she's really ac gotten accustomed to this world Damn, this this portion is really like this is definitely one of the best openings this season. All right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> also, that's why she actively. All right. <laughs> Oh wow. Um Oh my god. Damn, she is giving all her <laughs> Wow. Oh really? Oh Wow, okay. That's impressive. Hmm. Pillar. 
What? Um. Ah. Uh, what? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Who still is longer? What? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um What the hell? <laughs> what is that? Eating? Oh. Oh, there you go. This will settle her down. But this time. All right. OK. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. He got a. <laughs> he got a little bit of a free time, but yeah. Yeah. Still going, okay. Oh, Elma is still going. Hmm, but you'll get tired later on. Don't become a pillar, oh. Oh my god. Yeah, she's, she's... <laughs> yeah, she's correct in a way. Hmm. Well, you start doing your own. <laughs> there you go. Not that. She's gonna flick you on the head or something. There you go. Flick. Damn. If this was some battle anyway, she would have been flung. <laughs> she would have been flung out. <laughs> yeah. But still, she's correct in a way, you know. Um. <laughs> Yeah. There you go, you're pudding. <laughs> oh. Okay. Fafnir is also there, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. There you go. She's drunk. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. You'll have to <laughs> listen to that drunk talk now. Oh. Oh. Damn. They're having the time of their life. Oh boy. <laughs> Fafnir is like... Okay. Oh no. Wait a minute.
Oh yeah, that that one. Yeah. <laughs> She's like the law enforcement kind of. <laughs> the local hero or heroine. <laughs> Mm. Damn. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I hope so. Oh! It's delinquents. Yes. Um. Oh boy. Um Oh Oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll get a flick <laughs> Dragon Busters Oh boy Yeah <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's like, "Ah, oh, finally you've seen the light." Agent of Harmony. <clears throat> uh, let her think like that. <laughs> uh, she's scared about the revenge thing. Damn. Oh my god, I'm concerned. These two are like doing the patrol on their own. Yeah. Book of Laws. Whoa! What? Where? Oh my god, you're the villain here! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The, oh my god, it's fascinating, isn't it? What what is he doing? What is he doing? What type of... Oh, okay. Why here? <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> and you're the suspicious person here. <laughs> True. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, what the? Whoa, they got a whole team here. Oh, damn. Dragon of Destruction. Um, sorry, you're not the dragon here, actually. We have three dragons here. W what the hell is with that aura? <laughs> it is on. <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> okay, calm down. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, I doubt they're going to come back again. <laughs> oh no. Are they going to say sorry or something? Okay, there you go. Oh my god, that... <laughs> there are underlings now. <laughs> Beer. Whoa. Oh. Is this like his training arc or something? Yeah. He's going through his training arc. Good. Oh, damn. Oh, Ryu versus a bear. Oh! More training, you need more training. <coughs> when in Rome, do as the Romans. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, okay, this will be nice. Oh no. I think she. Oh, she really did not go. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Georgie! Oh! Alright. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Map. Acro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Mirror house. Yeah, you're gonna like bump yourself into the mirror. Oh. Damn. That's a deep answer. It's funny, like Toru can basically <laughs> like, you know blow this whole place up and all the mirrors will go away. Oh Wow, she's multitasking. All right. <laughs> Everyone got scared by that noise. Oh, 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 that's how they do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, okay. No! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 
Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. This, oh, I never knew. Is this like a real thing? <laughs> oh, wow. I never saw this type of a thing before in even in animes. Oh. Oh, that, okay, I understand. <laughs> oh. Damn. That's Umaibo, isn't it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh no, calm down. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think so. All right, select the. Oh wow! Oh, it's ma oh, made cafe. That's why. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he she loves these things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, she's the most. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she took a lot of photos. Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right. No, it's like b bread. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. What? No. <laughs> oh my god, what? Hmm. It's back for my hips. <laughs> okay. Gina, what? Oh, who is this? Whoa! Wait, what? Wait, she, she she goes to school? Did they show this in season one? I forgot. Wait, wait, so... Okay, so she also goes to school. As a student, obviously. I can't remember. Did they... Sh is this the first time that they're showing us this, or did they show us something like this in season one? I don't think so. This is probably the first time. All right, so another very happy episode, like, you know, size of lifey and <coughs> and um, yeah, like this was this episode was broken down into two parts. The first part was the whole uh, thing with Kobashi and Elma. 
<laughs> the justice thing and then the amusement park it was quite nice to see like you know them going to the amusement park and all all right is that the end yeah so um so yeah as i was saying it was quite nice to see them like having like fun and all like obviously like this like basically like kobash is made, uh, made uh, dragon maid is like a size of life show uh, with like you know <laughs> some god tier animation <laughs> I think this is the first uh, like you know slice of life anime which has like this type of animation um, Obviously, it's like, uh, like you know the studio is Kyoto animation. That's why uh, So yeah, anyways uh, as I was saying So The first uh, part of this uh, episode we have Elma and Kobayashi now like so like we I don't think I also knew this, like, it's like the first time they actually said, so basically Kobayashi was kind of doing Elma's job as well in a way, and uh, like, you know, unless and until she got accustomed to it, and it's really like, that probably like, you know, uh, like, makes us realize the reason why she, like, you know, has so much work to do when he goes to her job and usually kind of like you know stays up late like you know does overtime most probably because uh elma's job was also there she had to like you know do that as well and uh, like in the beginning i was like uh when like you know when elma said that oh like i did that and kobe she said that okay so can you do this 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 and this and i was like oh my god like you know like they're having like you know like kobe she's basically like you know kind of making fun of not fun of her but kind of like you know teasing her in a way saying that okay like can you do my job but then like you know when they said that nah that's actually her own job like then i realized oh my god like she, she was basically like you know helping her in this way otherwise uh like you know like thinking about it now it's kind of like you know this is like an office where you do your own like you know own job so elma being here and like you know not doing any job would kind of be a little bit of a problem <laughs> you know like her only being the uh like, you know uh the tea tea person like you know giving tea and drinks to others like that person won't really work out because this is like a place where you do your own job it's like an office so you're supposed to do your like, you know the allotted amount of work that you have been given otherwise like yeah so basically kobayashi was kind of helping her get in into like you know kind of get accustomed to everything and now that she is pretty you know, doing her job pretty well now like she did the coding and stuff so <clears throat> kobayashi can probably get a little break here now i'm, I'm sure like you know she'll do her own job from now on and uh, yeah and one thing that elma said kind of interested me is like the whole pillar thing and like uh one thing i'll kind of disagree with kobayashi where she said that oh like this is human world nothing like that happens in a way she's kind of correct because nothing like that really does happen it does not go to that type of serious department where like you know a person has to like say sacrifice herself for himself for someone else like it does not escalate to that extent but there are times when stuff like this really does happen like you know like people kind of uh like you know what do you call it like depending on someone and that someone who is doing the job for them like as they call her him or her the pillar like you know everything is kind of falling on that person's head and that person like you know like gets overwhelmed with everything and it, it's really not a good feeling you know like when like it kind of feels nice to do good things for others but if people starts taking not advantage but kind of taking uh what do you call it taking that for granted and they're like okay like kobayashi is here like uh i can kind of slack off myself like that's that's when it becomes a problem and not only the person who is doing the job for them that person suffers but the person who are doing like you know like you know who are giving up their job and kind of like slacking off they themselves are kind of also in the wrong here uh, because they are getting too accustomed to it now it's a completely different thing if that person does not know what to do like you know it's quite new to this just like elma when elma really did not know how to do this kind of stuff that's why kobashi was kind of helping it that's okay that's fine like you know but like you know like slacking off just because there is someone that you can pile your job on that's not okay <clears throat> so there's a difference and usually in these type of situations it kind of escalate into that as like you know as i can i kind of remember there's this whole thing where 
Uh, I think it was in a YouTube video or something where this kind of like it was talking about this whole thing where they said that usually when there's a people like that, like, you know, the pillar who usually helps others and does everything for them, usually the other people start expecting something from them, you know, and sometimes it escalates into such an extent that if the person who was doing the job for them, if suddenly he or she says that, oh, today I won't be able to do this job for you, the other persons will get mad and they'll be like, oh, why? Like, you know, like, uh, like you know, they'll get mad at them. Whereas at the, like, you know, that job is supposed to be done by them themselves, but still they'll get mad at them. Like, that's like where it kind of goes, escalates into a very dangerous situation. Like, people start expecting everything from you. You know and they'll be like oh like he or she usually does my job and why is she not he or she not doing it now like it, it kind of like you know like that's a bad situation so like Kobashi, like and i think Kobashi is probably a person who would kind of do that like you know help others and like sacrifice self-sacrifice herself so much that people one day will start expecting everything from her and it will kind of go into dangerous territory <clears throat> But still, like, you know, Kobe, she, she herself is quite intelligent, so I doubt something, something, it will escalate into that situation. But still, like, you know, she should kind of keep an eye out for these type of things. <laughs> because this is some, like, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, problematic situations where people, if, if people start expecting too much from you. So, yeah, anyways, like, you know, like, Kobe, she herself will get stressed out and all. But yeah, and then there's the next portion where the whole thing with Fafnir happens, like, you know, they, uh, Elma and uh, Toru kind of go out for patrolling and all, and, <laughs> like, <laughs> so the suspicious person was actually Fafnir, like, her, him, uh, uh, practicing his dance <laughs> for the, uh, what is that, what was that, for the anime convention or something that they were going to do, and, <laughs> The thing that Fafni said here is like this place like you know makes us weird it's kind of true like imagine like the dragons who were like you know always fighting and everything in their own world like you know it's like a dangerous type of beings <laughs> that was like you know that dragon after coming to earth basically became became a weeb that's Fafni <laughs> well I don't blame him because <clears throat> obviously like <laughs> anime is something like you know like it is something like that which kind of like you know attracts people from like you know from everywhere like you know like like anime is really it's really good obviously that's why like i'm watching anime we all are like you know we so we all understand this so like i think <laughs> the most relatable situation in this show is probably fafnir because like you know she come he comes here and then after meeting Taki and like you know like playing seeing anime and playing games and all he basically becomes like an otaku as they say um like you know not only a, a, an anime otaku but also like a gaming all all, all like all different types of things like it's a whole package he has he plays games he watches animes like you know like all the doujinshis and all like mangas like everything he's, he's like <laughs> He's like the, the full package, like usually like, you know, there's like a difference between a few people are just only, like, you know, focus on anime, a few people only focus on game, a few people only focus on something else, like, you know, like, that's why they're called like anime otaku or game otaku, that's like, it's like, this is how they kind of, like, you know, kind of, uh, <clears throat> like, this is like the difference between them, but he's like the all in one. And there are also definitely people like, the, like me, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like him. Uh, like anime, games, manga, what else, like, you know? Uh, oh, I, I don't like, you know, like I don't usually read doujinshi, that's one thing. But still, you know, visual novels, like, you know, like songs, all, all these kind of things, like, you know, anime songs and all. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> I kind of relate to him. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, as Fafnir was saying, like, you know, like this place, uh, like, you know, this place changes us. And... Uh, just a sec. Oh, she, he says that I still think that it's dangerous. The common sense of this word doesn't completely mesh with our understanding, so never forget that. 
Yeah, so he's basically afraid of getting too used to this, you know, and I kind of get what he's actually trying to say. He's basically saying that, like, if we get too, like, you know, like, you know, like, accustomed to this, like, he, he's scared of, like, you know, to change into someone who he himself will probably won't be able to recognize in the future. Like, that's, like, you know, normal pretty because, like, you know, most of, like, most people are afraid of change. That's why, like, you know, like, uh, the kind of, like, you know, people usually love their mundane, uh, everyday, boring, repetitive, like, you know, day. Most people I'm talking about, there are a few exceptions, there are a few exceptions who usually, like, you know, want more thrills and all, like, you know, they, they don't want their life to become monotonous. That type of people are also exist. But usually people are afraid of change and that's what he's, like, you know, afraid of. He has change and he's afraid of actually, like, you know, like, like, like when like he's actually afraid of the day when he'll act he'll have to realize that like you know the person who i am now like he'll have to change back to the uh, other like you know that the dragon him himself i'm not sure if i'm able to make you guys understand but he's basically afraid of uh you know going back to those days because this like you know his his life on earth is very fun he's basically afraid of getting accustomed to this because in the future he thinks he probably will have to leave these things and it's kind of understandable because he's a dragon and as he said like you know like the sense of normalcy is pretty different in our world and this world so getting used to this can be a little bit you know uh, painful if they will have to like you know leave these things late for late like you know later on if they have to leave these things it'll be a little bit painful for them because they're really getting accustomed to this happy life <laughs> like just see like Fafni having fun dancing around <laughs> oh my god but yeah anyways okay that's the whole thing with Fafni and like they beat up some delinquents Ryusan Ryusan gets beaten and later on we see a little training arc that Ryusan goes through but unfortunately the bear defeats him so his first hurdle is that bear he'll have to defeat the bear and then after winning against the bear he'll, he can you know start training for beating Tohu which <laughs> Which obviously is never going to happen, but you know, a man can dream. <laughs> but anyways, okay, that was that. And then in the next uh, portion, we see the whole amusement park thing. It's kind of like, like an, uh, you know, a little happy little vacation. Not vacation, but like, you know, outing that they went through. And Georgie was like, in, right, like uh, Kobayashi usually loves to, like, you know, like there's a difference between maids, obviously. Like the maid that we usually, I, I kind of talked about this, I think, in, in one of the previous episodes. Like, this is like, uh, the maids that we see, like in maid cafes, they are very different from actual maids. And the Victorian maids that, um, like I think Skobash is really, uh, like, you know, prefers the Victorian maids, as, uh, like, as far as I can remember, like, you know. So, <clears throat> the Victorian maids that we saw, those are like the genuine maids. And it's kind of interesting to see that this is like an amusement park. I was expect expecting uh, a normal maid cafe, you know, the whole, like, you know, the, the maid cafe that is popularized. Like, for example, like, you know, like, say, like, uh, welcome back master. And then, like, you know, like, kind of do the little heart thing on the omurais and the whole moe moe kyun. That, I thought, I, I like, I expected that type of a maid cafe over here because this is an amusement park. It's kind of interesting to see that there's like an actual Victorian uh, maid cafe in the amusement park. But you know, and Kobashi was definitely happy with that. And Georgie knew that. So Georgie kind of said that you're going to love that place. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, anyways, okay. And then, uh, can they have a little fun? Oh, one thing I'm, I'm quite interested. I was quite interested in this portion was the, 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 the place, I think there was like a, Thing where in the water there's like a round ball with transparent ball where inside like you, you know the, the Saikawa, uh, Ilulu and Kanna were there and there's like a mascot <laughs> you know dolphin or shark I'm not sure what that was but anyways you know kind of like you know rolling that thing around now is that really a thing I've never seen something like that I'm not sure but uh this, this is probably the first anime that in, in which I saw something like this. Like, I, we usually are accustomed to amusement parks in animes. You know, the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster, the haunted house, uh, what else? A lot of other things as well. The, the whole Purikura thing where you can, you know, kind of uh, uh, snap pictures and, and all. The, and there's a lot of other things as well in amusement park. Like, cafe like this as we saw. 
So, but I've never seen something like this before, where there's like a round ball and then in the water it's floating. You get inside it and there's like a mascot character kind of rolls you around. <laughs> it's kind of the first time that I'm seeing something like this, especially in anime. But anyways. Mm. Oh, and the whole, like, you know, the, the teacup thing, that is quite nice as well, like, you know, like where you rotate the teacup and it rotates. Uh, the, what was that? The, uh, what is it called? The merry-go-round. Yeah, merry-go-round on, on the, you know, the unicorn that they were saying. That thing as well. A lot of things in amusement park. Nah. Kind of nice. And it, it's really interesting to see, like, Kobayashi never went to an amusement park, as he said. So this is the first time that she came here. And uh, I, I was not expecting that. I, I thought like at least once she could have gone there, but who, who knows, like, maybe like in her past there were some circumstances or something. I'm not sure. But, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, was there something else? Let's see. Oh, and then they go to the face wheel. And, <laughs> you know, like when Toru was talking about, like, you know, the, all the fantastical things here, I was thinking, like, as Kobashi also thought, that maybe she's feeling nostalgic about this place. You know, because, like, there's stuff here which were probably there in his her world. You know, like these this type of dragons and a lot of other yeah, unicorns, all these things. But then she says that, oh, this is like a training facility for riding dragons. So like, <laughs> Kobayashi's like, how do you even get there? But yeah, that was funny. And okay, that was that. And okay, one thing. Uh, so Georgia goes to school as well. So how many does things does she do like she she does her own job at Saikawa's place you know like the maid job she goes does does part-time job like you know, the mascot thing in in the uh, amusement park obviously I, I think that's like the, the like you know a, a one-time thing as she said like you know like my dad has someone relate you know some kind of acquaintance so like they told me to do some part-time here i think that's like one or two time thing and then she also goes to school like damn she's like multitasking and like that's that's like a <laughs> like you know like that really like shows why she is like a maid because she she's like the person who can do everything you know and like does everything well as well so yeah like it's kind of interesting to see and she okay what was her name her name was Nye wasn't it yeah and she goes uh, uh, like you know her maiden name is George so okay that's one thing that we got to know but yeah that was it that was this episode and uh, yeah it's a fun episode you know like as we saw like slice of lifey and uh, <clears throat> let's see what in the next episode how more like you know what type of more like you know fu fun things we get like because like kobayashi's made dragon like oh, even in season one it was kind of like this where it's like a very fun light-hearted show but at the same time by the end of it and in, in the beginning as well like a lot of serious portions and in this season as well like we got to meet ilulu those like you know episodes were kind of a little bit serious and we had a lot of things going on like you know actually ilulu kind of getting accustomed to this place but now that she's accustomed to it everything will be fine but i'm sure like you know by the end of this season something will happen you know where some serious stuff might happen because i'm sh i think like illu has still some issues going on like you know like she has she is trying to get accustomed to everything but her past probably has still not you know she, she's probably she's still going to think about her past about everything like her guilt as well so i'm, I'm guessing that will probably become a thing in the future episodes where she kind of you know kind of falls in a dilemma or something who knows but something is probably going to happen but up until then let's have as much fun, fun as we can so yeah that was it so this was my Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S episode number four so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know I'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miss kobayashi's dragon maid s so until then goodbye and have a nice day